Hey guys, it's Sharon and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below to join the family for today's video. So I've just been getting so many questions on my iPhone unboxing, like was it worth it? How is it having like the, the 256 gigabytes? Do you feel like you need more? Or I've just been getting a lot of questions, so I wanna do like update it, was it worth it? And I'm also gonna do a what's on my iPhone. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. As you guys can see right here, this is my lock screen. I'm just gonna hold it because the phone stops screen recording once the phone turns off. But this is my lock screen right now. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen the picture. But this is my lock screen. I love how you can just customize all of this, like the different fonts. You can choose like what kind of widgets you want. I just have the um, weather batteries and then I have my alarm. Whenever I need to make sure that my alarm is on, I know that it's on. So that's what I have right Right now for my lock screen so and I do also have other ones this one is the same but like the background on the home screen is different and then I just have like different ones but right now I'm really loving this one so we're gonna do this so as soon as you go in you just see like it's giving very modern classic I did have the other one that I showed you like that was right in front of it I had uh, like a fall background but I'm really feeling this one like recently so I changed it back to this one so as you guys can see on the top i have you know my calendar it's november 28th right now and i just love the like sleek look the cleanness of it and i use that one with widget smith and then as for my apps like these are the apps that i probably use the most i guess you can say or like i need these to be easier access for me to get to so i have map gmail facetime weather photos camera settings I have Safari and then of course I have YouTube, Netflix, my ring camera, and then Snapchat. And then on the bottom, on the bottom border, I have the phone, I have iMessage, music, and Instagram. And then as you guys can see for the picture, I have just like um, white tulips, little cute little white aesthetic, those um, sunglasses, perfume, and that one I use photo widget for. That is what the front home screen looks like. If you go to the next page, we have another picture. We have um, some more white tulips, but it's in like a Dior bag. So that one's super cute. I use photo widget as well. And then for the apps that are on here, I have notes, YouTube studio, Facebook. I have Facebook Messenger and I have um, Fetch Residence. If you guys live in apartments, you probably got, you know about this app. Like my apartment, you can't come in unless you have a key fob. So you have to get your things like, you have to order your things with the address that they give you. Wherever you order from ships it to them, then you schedule it with Fetch and then they bring it to you because they, they're the only ones that have access, not like UPS or anything. So I have that and then I have my wallet right here. And I also have another picture. I use photo widget as well. Um, it just says flowers need time to bloom. Just like people need time to bloom, flowers need time to bloom. And then in this folder up here, um, I just have like a little white heart to go with like the theme. But I have Google Translate, I have the clock, Find My Friends, I have Disney Plus, Google Home, Pandora, and then Zillow Rentals and Zillow because your girl's been actively looking because I don't know if you guys know but the lease is up in a few months. So your girl's been actively looking because you know when it goes somewhere new. So that is pretty much it for the second page. Once you go over, you'll see like all the whole app library. So I have like the sneakers app. You guys always, well not always, I got a comment that was, they asked me like, you always say the sneakers app, like what do you mean by the sneakers app? I mean like this is the sneakers app, the Nike sneakers app. Um, that's where I usually cop anything like for retail or anything that I try to enter a draw for. This is where I do because I don't like to buy resale shoes. I just feel like it's not worth it, the prices and stuff. So yeah, so I have sneakers app right here. I have Pinterest, of course, the Fetch that I told you guys, Bank of America. Over here in my recently added, we have Champ Sports, Foot Locker, Overstock, PetSmart. Um, I don't even know how to say this, but I've seen some shoes coming out on here that I just downloaded it. Is it called Chic? Probably. 
probably how you say it, chic have skip town it's like a place where you can bring your dogs the like the owners can drink and then socialize with other people and then you can bring your dogs to play and everything and they also have like grooming and everything zillow and zillow rentals as for socials i have facebook facetime instagram messages all these ones are pretty much on the home page except reports and twitter so I have those. And then as for utilities, it says App Store, Calculator, Clock, Color Widget, Duke Energy, Find My Friends, Magnify. I have Measure, I have my AT&T. I have the Fetch Again, Ring, Safari, Settings, and Apple Watch. For entertainment, I don't really have too much in here. I don't really do much on my phone, honestly, you guys. Like, I just use it to text and call. It's really pretty much it. I have Disney Plus, Music, Netflix, Pandora, Prime Video, Roku, SoundCloud, the CW, Apple TV, and YouTube. So I have that for entertainment. For photo and videos, because before I use, um, before I even started using Final Cut Pro, I used my phone to edit, I used my phone to record. So these are all the things. And then I still have them because some of them I use to do thumbnails. Some of them I just use to like edit pictures and stuff. So I have BuzzArt right here, camera. Camera connects for my, um, for my camera, it connects and then it can drop like pictures in. I have Canva, CapCut. If you are a YouTuber and you like to edit on your phone, CapCut. I do really recommend CapCut as um, a video editing one. And I also made my intro on CapCut as well. So I really do recommend that app. I have iMovie, InstaShot, Lightroom. I love Lightroom for thumbnails. I use, how do you say this? Mo motive? I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Motive, I use that. Fonto, if you want to do a thumbnail on here. I mostly do my thumbnails on photo grid though, because I have like, I bought the little subscription kind of to it. So if I was to say, if I was to edit something, I'll just press next. And then for my layouts, is it layout? I don't know for ratio, it's already on YouTube. So, and then as for if I wanted to make the picture, the same size just like zoom it in like that and then i can type words and stuff and make a whole thumbnail or whatever so we have that um so next one we have photos pix art video editor vita and then youtube studio so we have those as for shopping y'all you, you, know your girl love to shop so she got hella apps amazon i'll be on amazon so much like amazon spots me <sighs> but yeah i have amazon best buy champ adidas confirmed but i don't i don't know if i'm even gonna keep that app anymore because y'all already know the whole controversy and everything with yeezy and stuff so but i have costco i have ebay i have etsy fashion nova Foot Locker, Francesca's, Ikea, JD Sports, Macari. If you guys don't know about Macari, it's like you can like sell stuff on there. I sell shoes on there. So if you guys want to shop, make sure you guys go shop my Macari. Um, I have Nike, you guys seen Overstock. I have PacSun, PetSmart, Pretty Little Thing, Poshmark. Poshmark is kind of like Macari, but I feel like Macari is a little more um, popular so more people are on Macari so and then I have Princess Polly Shein of course um the app that I said I didn't know how to say but I think it's called Chic I have the shop app if you guys don't have this then you guys should really get it if you guys like to order things online and stuff shop gets the update faster than the website would even get the update and they will already tell you like it's shipped it's out for delivery like they're on their a game and i love that app again we have sneakers app we have stock x um i don't really buy on stock x i just go on there to see like the value of a shoe and i know you guys heard about how they took the authenticity off of stock eggs like do you think people really still about to buy from y'all we don't know we buying real or fake make it make sense but anyway next we have target urban outfitters walmart we have wayfair and white fox for productivity we have 
the Butterfly MX. I have the calendar, contact. I have DoorDash Dasher because my boyfriend sometimes does DoorDash. And then I have the app for him. Um, we have Google Docs, um, FedEx, files. We have Gmail, mail, notes, photo widget, smart home management. What is smart home management? Oh, it's my AT&T. Well, let me not get into it. It might show little stuff. It's my AT&T. I have UPS and Widget Smith for that one. For finance, you know, Bank of America, you gotta have the banking app. You got Cash App. I don't really use Cash App often, but I just have it just to have. I have Credit Karma, but if you guys know for sure, like if you guys are on your A game about credit scores, Credit Karma is probably not the best option. Um, it, it would tell you your score is way higher than it really is, but you guys subtract by like 10, 15, and that'd be a real score. But if you want to use a more accurate one, Experium, I think that's how you say it. Experium, Experium, I think that's how you say it. Um, but that one is real more accurate, and I love that app. And it also gives you like tips on how you can up your credit score, like what are you doing, or like it will tell you like maybe you need to stop using your credit card too much, and it will literally like guide you how to, you know boost your credit score which i love i have turbo tax and then wallet in here okay go on to the next as for information and reading we don't really have too much i have the holy bible right here google translate news translate that comes with the um phone the weather app for travel we just have uber google maps regular maps and booking for health and fitness we have I have my 1-800 contacts. I have the Banfield. That is where my dog's um, vet is. Banfield Pet Hospital. So I have the app. Clue for my period. If you guys are looking for a good period tracker, I'll say um, this one is a really good one. It's pretty accurate. It's just like my cycle. It's just not accurate. But this one is, is pretty accurate. And then it lets you like kind of add like how your symptoms for that day. It lets you add like how the flow was, like cram, if you have look, cramps, headaches, ovulations, in your breath, and then it even asks you like how you're feeling that day, which I love. But have that app, I highly do recommend that app for you girls. Um, fitness app uh, and the health app right there. As for other, what do I have in the other folder? You guys already seen most of these. Zillow's in here, Google Home, Pinterest, Skip Town. Only thing you haven't seen was Smart Things. That is just my TV remote whenever I lose my TV. But honestly, my TV hasn't even been connected to this. It's been saying it's been offline for so long and I don't know how to get it back on. So I'm just like, whatever. So I barely use that. And last but not least, we got food and drinks, which I don't really have that many apps. Have Blaze Pizza because I, sometimes I just don't like going in there and like ordering like this, this, this. I rather them just make it for me and then I can pick it up. I have that Kava. Oh my God! If you guys haven't eaten that Kava, can I put you on real quick? Because this place is so freaking good. Wait, hold on, man. Hold on. They got a new one. A sweet and spicy chicken. Stop playing. Y'all, I love Kawa. Like, I think it's way better than Chipotle. I don't care what nobody say. You can quote me, do whatever you want, but it's 100% better than Chipotle. I don't even eat at Chipotle anymore after I've eaten at Kawa. Hands down, a really good place. Um, I have Chick fil A app, Kraken Crawfish, I have DoorDash, I have Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, and Yelp. So that is pretty much it for the apps. That's all the apps I have. I'm just gonna show you guys this side now. Like on this side, I just have um, portrait, just pictures that just pop up anytime. It was just like a, a whole shuffle of pictures. I have the weather right here. I have the calendar, which I have no events today. Thank you, Jesus. I have the battery app, which I I need to charge my Apple Watch. I don't even know where it is. Anyway, I have my Snapchat. So if you guys don't have me on Snapchat, you definitely should screenshot and add your girl. I don't really be on there too much, but I have the Bible, the verse of the day. I have that. I have the sneakers app. Um, like whenever a sneaker's about to come out, they'll let you know on here. I have the find my friends shop as i told you guys um they literally tell you 
what packages are coming what's on the way they had the update before any of the companies which i love and then i have a clue but yeah you guys that is pretty much it for your girl's phone that's pretty much everything on it i'm just gonna talk to you guys a little bit about was it worth it i have the iphone 14 pro Max in deep purple if you guys haven't seen the unboxing you guys definitely should go watch it but i got a comment the other day that's like um for someone that likes to take a lot of pictures do you think 256 gigabyte is a Enough. and for me i do say it is enough for me um in total right now in my actual photo gallery i have 4756 photos and then i have 4425 videos so that's about like 9000 um videos 9000 video photos combined and i still have let me see how much I don't even know how much storage I have left though. Yeah, okay. So I've used 129.6 gigabytes out of my 256. And it says here that the most storage is obviously my photos in the photos app. And then the second is messages. So I probably have to delete some messages. Like I just leave a lot of message threads. But overall, I would say it is enough. So I, since I only have 126, so I definitely still have a lot more storage. So I do say that it, that is a lot of storage, but if you always wanna go higher, be my guest. Um, you can never go wrong with more storage. But other than that, I haven't really been seeing too much of a difference. The camera, I love the camera though. The camera 100% is probably one of the best things that could have added for the iphone but and everything else is pretty much the same the other iphones can do like nothing's too different which you know just a new phone new color honestly so on to the question of was it worth it to me i asked myself that too um i've had the phone for a month i love the phone i love taking pictures on it but was it worth it though honestly you could really go without it if you were to wait till the next iphone come out you probably would get even better features but would i say it was worth it yes and no yes because i love the camera no because it really does the same exact things that my old phone would have done so it's really up to you guys like honestly you don't really need a new phone so if you have I'll say if you have like the 12, the XS Max, like any of those and up, you probably really don't need the iPhone 14 because those will literally still do the exact same thing. Like I'm not encouraging you guys to be like, yes, you need it. Like it's so worth it. Like you, you need this in your life. No, you really don't like if you wanted to splurge on yourself to get it then yeah of course you should get it it's a beautiful phone yes you see but overall though not it i wouldn't say it's that much worth it only because it doesn't do anything different from what the other phones would do like it's not like how i don't remember what phone came out but they a phone had came out i don't remember which number it was but it had came out and they came out with the whole new ios and it had changed the whole thing and i feel like that one was like more like a hype thing where like if it was worth it it was worth it because a lot changed this one a lot didn't change just the camera honestly for me it's the only thing that i noticed everything else is pretty much the same i do love like when you play music like you see the little black little thing right here it'll show you like the songs you can click on it go really fast i do love that that's probably a good feature that they added like whenever you're listening to something you can always change it up here or like easy access to jump in that but that's pretty much like i didn't really notice anything else too differently um the message like notifications coming through the bottom um that was that i noticed that but like that's really nothing like all right you guys that concludes today's video i hope you guys enjoyed seeing what's on your girl phone hopefully you guys got some inspo like for some apps if you guys do edit you definitely should um check out some of the apps that i showed you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you guys give it a thumbs up subscribe down below to join the family road to 1k y'all and that's on period like we're so close we're like halfway there so make sure you guys subscribe down below i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in the next video peace